What up, cut ups? In this video, I will be talking about two females that I have been dealing with lately. Um, one person I'm going to fully expose, and the other person she got until tomorrow. Um, <laughs> it, it, you know what? I, I just think it's sad that I have to do it, though. You know, I just really think it's sad that I have to do it, but people make you, you know, listen. Everybody's different out here. You know, maybe it's people out here that, you know, when somebody gaming you or whatever, maybe y'all just don't care, you know, after, I'm talking about after it happened. I'm not saying y'all don't care, but, you know, just feel like there's nothing you can do about it. Me, on the other hand, I just don't feel that way, okay? I feel like it's something you can do about it, you know, okay? And, guys, I'm just going to say this. People make you do things or come out of your character um you know maybe maybe that's just i don't know maybe it's what they want to see i don't know but all i know is that i'm not going for it okay and that's 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 just pretty much it and that's all you know i feel like if i want something i'll buy it i'll pay for it i'm talking about services because that's where this first lady come in at Okay, and her name is Gigi, and that's the lady from La Image here in Franklin, Wisconsin, and that's like a cosmetic um, uh, clinic, surgery clinic. They, they do everything there, you know, face and um, stuff like that. But anyway, for the people that saw the video, um, I have really propped that lady out because I had never had fillers, under eye fillers before, ever, okay? So I, I was very excited to get it, so... For the people that saw that video, um, I recorded that video right after she had put the injection in, so I never had them. It was smooth under there, guys. It was smooth and it was full if you go back and watch the video. It's only been like maybe a couple months, no more than three months ago, so look for that video. But the image is in the, uh, the title, okay? Y'all, I'm going to say this. I felt like the first time I didn't know what to expect. So I put the video out there, but it was too premature. Okay, I should have waited. I should have waited. Guys, I ended up going back to Gigi too many times, y'all. Way too many times. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this. I spent the uh, over $1,000 the very first time I went for the under eye fillers, and she did some fillers like right here, okay? Guys, told me to wait for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Everybody be trying to buy time. I don't know what they think that's gonna do. Maybe they think that buying time is gonna make you forget. It ain't gonna make me forget, okay? So wait two weeks, wait till everything heals and clears up, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not satisfied after that, okay? She said that she is very light-handed. People call her some type of lightweight or some shit she said, y'all, that, you know, really it's just a, a legal way to rip people off. She does it legitimate and legally, guys. And I say that because that lady only put in a small amount under the eye, okay? And I say that because she said... Now, she didn't want to put too much because she didn't know how it would react. And yeah, that do make sense. But the thing is to keep you coming in to get more and more. That's where the fuckery comes in. Okay. So, I waited two weeks. I went back. She did that free because that was supposed to be the retouch. Okay. But, I, but then when she did it, she still only put just a little bit in. Again, just a little bit. See, it's game Okay, to keep people coming, to keep spending their money. And y'all, that was the second time now. Okay, it was free. Got to wait two more weeks now. All right? So I did wait two more weeks. I wasn't satisfied. I went back to her. That time, she charged me because she said, if you pay this amount, I'll go and do this. The Certain areas she will go in and do for free is what she said. If I paid 
$200 a syringe. And I was going to get one syringe under each eye, guys. So that's $400, okay? So all I'm saying is what she did, then she put a very little bit again underneath there. Okay, wait two more weeks. I waited those two weeks. But since I had paid her the 400 she said that if I came back after two more weeks, if I had to, that it would be free. So when I came back from my Florida trip, guys, I think it was the very next day, I had to go in and see her so that, you know, because I wasn't satisfied. So she put, this is what she did. This is the last thing she did, which I really don't know. I, I kind of almost think that she went in here because I had mentioned that I was moving to Florida. Okay. And asked if they had any clinics there or whatever. But anyway, she knew I was leaving. So, guys, I feel like she did it for free, mind you. I feel like she put something under there to minimize my under eyes, not maximize, like make them full, but to minimize them. I really do. And that was, let me get it right. I came back two weeks ago, y'all, on, on a Sunday. I had went Monday the next day to, yeah, to, to get the, the last under eye fillers that she put in here, guys. And she was telling me, she said, if you notice anything different, um, let me know. I'm like, what do you mean? You know, I haven't had any, I've, I've had to wait uh, over a month and two weeks for you to, to do, you know, for it to heal. And all I'm saying is it healed and I wasn't satisfied. So this is the game. It's the con where you got to keep coming back. Okay. And when you pay a little money, when you go back in two more weeks, she will redo it for free. But it's so minimal, y'all, you know, and that's the game. And I just need to blast Miss Gigi, who's the nurse there at uh, La Image in Franklin, Wisconsin. I need to blast her because it, it's not cool. But one thing about her, I can't say at, at least it is legal. You know, she legally can run game and rip motherfuckers off. Okay. And that's how I feel. But no, I wouldn't recommend her to anybody. I wouldn't recommend anybody go to her. I would recommend y'all go to somebody who's more experienced, who is not afraid to go ahead and inject whatever type of shit or medicine or whatever that stuff is, that being those syringes, go ahead and inject that shit, get it right, and be through. Okay. So I'm just going to wait it out. I, I'm Honestly, I'm really not satisfied still because I feel like this puffiness right here, you definitely can see puffiness. There's not supposed to be any puffiness, guys. It's supposed to be smooth under there. It's supposed to be smooth. <clears throat> but it's clearly puffiness right here and right there. So I feel like since she knew I was leaving, I felt like she deflated it. That's just how I feel. I could be wrong. It's my opinion. It's what I believe. Okay. Okay. Now, this other person... I'm not going to expose this person entirely, okay, including where they work, the name of the residence, all that information, okay. I'm going to screenshot the cash app that I sent her and everything. See, y'all going to see that I put for rent on here. See, because I'm no dummy either, but maybe she thought she had one. Listen, I'm going to say this. I cannot keep waiting for anybody, okay? Listen, I explained to this person when I was there in person, you know, when I went to fill out the application, whatever, whatever. I explained to her that, you know, I live in, in a different state. Okay, I'm only here for a certain amount of time. And guys, it just appeared to me that... While I was there, everything just seemed to be progressing, you know. It's like once I left, okay, after she clearly told me that I had the apartment, okay, I went and let her know, I got to go. This Sunday coming up, I got to go back to Milwaukee. Like, I'm just basically trying to let her know that my time is limited. 
you know, and I know it don't take that long. For the people that really watch my channel, y'all know I have lived in a lot of apartments. I've moved around, you know, in the short three years that I've been doing this, had this channel, y'all. I move around. <laughs> and I know it don't take this long to verify anything, okay? So let me tell y'all what I think is up with that in real life. I don't know if y'all remember me saying this or not, but the person, the guy, okay, that told me he could help me get an apartment and that he knew that he was sure I would get it, okay? That is a person who works with a big time celebrity. I cannot give, well, I could give his details out if the shit don't go right. But at the same time, I probably won't because he did try to help me. And I kind of really feel like it's not really his fault. It's his female fault. And I say that because he was so sure he could get me in and everything. Because the manager of this apartment building where I'm supposed to be living is his baby mama. Okay? Now... When he said that, I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> here we go with this whole jealousy bit. I can see this shit uh, from six miles. Okay, I, I, I can see what this is going to be. And I told him, I said, man, come on, really? Okay, you telling me that this is your baby mama? Okay, y'all got all type of feelings or whatever going on that's not my shit. Okay, but what I'm saying is... This lady's clearly going to have an issue with me when she see me. Okay. And I know that. I told him that. And all he said was that, well, listen, I have nothing to do with that. I'm just trying to get you in an apartment. Okay. At the end of the day, I know that I cash apped her some money. $174 to be exact, okay? When I was there, that's what I did. Now, this was because I didn't have a vehicle to go and find a place to get a money order, okay? I was in a Uber from the hotel I was staying in, okay? She said that um, <laughs> she got a money order and that she had put the money order, you know, in the office or whatever. She got the money order for the office. The money that I sent to her cash app. She said she got that money and put it, I guess, into the office files or whatever. But you know what, guys? I'm going to need to see those files. Okay. Because that $174 is the application and the holding fee amount. So... Y'all, yeah. tomorrow makes two weeks. Two weeks. And I know, goddamn well, it do not take this long. I feel like this woman is in her personal feelings. I feel like she is doing this to be spiteful. If I did get the goddamn apartment, the way she dragging her feet would make me not want the motherfucking apartment, which obviously is what she, at the end of the day, wants. She don't want me in the same complex. And let me tell y'all why. Because they live there. Okay, listen, when this lady was showing me the apartment, the very first apartment, okay, this person pulls up, all right, come to find out they live there, both of them live there, okay, <laughs> right in the same place. Now listen, guys. I don't know what type of messiness um, is going on with all of that, but it, it appears messy to me because I, all I know is this. If I got the apartment, I was going to stay in my motherfucking lane. I don't have nothing to do with anybody's personal issues or how they might be thinking shit's going to go or think shit's going to be because I'm my own motherfucking boss, y'all. I could pay my own way. I don't need no motherfucker for shit. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to let a motherfucker jeopardize me in no way, shape, form, or fashion just because he like me. That's a personal problem. Get used to it. I get this shit all the time. Okay. So 
I really don't blame him. Like I said, I don't blame him. He did me a favor by telling me about this person. Okay. Him being a man don't understand the depths of how female jealousy can go. He don't understand that shit. And I tried to tell him. As soon as she see me, mm -mm, she's going to... Because I met him through someone. Okay. And I let her know that I told her the person's name on how I met her baby daddy. Okay. I told her that. But none of that matters. Because in her mind, all she see is this female in front of her with this body. Okay. And all she knows that this person is trying to move into her complex where she live and where she works. That's all she know. So why would she want that realistically? I don't think she really do. She's coming off as trying to appear like saying you have the apartment. But y'all, she dragging her feet. Listen, you got to shit or get off the pot, lady. And stop fucking around. Because that's clearly what you're doing. And it's on some personal shit. Okay? Now, in this video, I didn't blast you because I ain't say your first and last name. But if I have to hit that motherfucking highway and come up there to get my money back, you better believe where you work, all that shit, your name, all that cash app, I'm, I'm going to screenshot that so the world can see the shit because you're going to get exposed. Okay. I'm not that person, honey, you know, and this lady told me that she knew who I was um, because her kids watch uh, Be Love. Okay. I don't think she really knew. Okay. I really don't think she did. Because if she did, y'all, wouldn't she see the some very recent videos? Like when I was there on Christmas Day. How I dropped that video about Cindy. Like, girl, it's drama. I told her, though, when I was there, it's drama attached to my channel. It is drama. I let her know, y'all. I, I directly let this woman know. And I'm going to bring that drama. If I feel like you fucking around playing games and wasting my time, I'm bringing it right to you at your place of work and want you to call the police so that I can clearly show them that you're playing games. I'm starting to think because I gave her the money like right before Christmas. Okay? I'm starting to think because she said she had eight kids. Okay? Damn. But all I'm saying is this. I gave her that money before Christmas. For all I know, she took that money. She could have took that money and went and used it for Christmas gifts for her kids. Lying to me the whole time, dragging shit out, knowing she ain't got that money to give back to me until pay until payday. Cause at this point, I feel like that's what it is. I don't feel like she's a con artist to the point where I cannot track her. Her information is on the card. Okay. Of this residence. She is the actual assistant manager there. Like, I know a person couldn't be that dumb, you know, to work somewhere and think they're going to get away with just taking somebody money because they live somewhere else. Like, you got to be really stupid to think that. Because some people like me will come back on your ass. And if I have to do that, it's not going to be nice. But yes, I'm going to want the police involved. Or the the, uh, the main manager or somebody even higher than that. The people who own the place. To know what she did and how illegally she did that shit. I never sent that money to the place where it was supposed to be the office. It was sent to her. And I know someone left a comment and said maybe she did that because she was saving you time from getting a money order. Okay, if that's the case then why can't you show me you know, while I'm in your office? Why don't you show me that you uh, went and got that money order? Let me see it. Okay? That's all I'm saying. So at this point, this is where I'm at with it. For me to have to make this video uh, is is like, if the girl, because I, I kind of feel like she, she could be watching my page. Um, I could be right. Could be wrong. I feel like she is. But all I know, guys, is that uh, I hope she watched this video to understand Girl, you have drug your feet long enough for your own personal issues. You got to get over that shit, okay? If you know your baby daddy is working with this celebrity, don't you know that he's always around pretty women with nice bodies all the time? 
And I clearly feel like this is a case where you feel that way. Insecure, got all them kids, don't feel like you sexy or I don't know, whatever the fuck. But all I know, that's your shit. That's your insecurities and your motherfucking problems, not mine. I wish you would do your job though, okay? Be professional because you haven't been. And the thing is, y'all, when I was there, okay, that was on a Saturday the last time I saw this person, I was there. Y'all, I got there at, I got there at a little bit before 11 o'clock that morning. Y'all, I didn't leave out of there until almost 3 o'clock. That Saturday afternoon. So, this woman, I mean, really, really putting that front up there like she's so professional. Okay. Like she's really trying to do maneuver all these things, y'all. And I'm not saying she didn't. She did maneuver some things. But all I'm saying is it, it, it was game. She was working so hard that Saturday while I was there in person. Okay. She told me. Matter of fact, she gave me a little, what are those little, those sticky note paper, the little notes, notebooks. She gave me one of those, y'all, with a specific amount to send her once I got home in a money order. Gave me specific, a specific amount. Okay. Y'all, something ain't right here. Okay. For me not to know about this apartment as far as the details as far as the paying for it okay when i was there saturday she needed to verify a, another background because the person that i had down there his didn't check out so i asked my mother to do it y'all my mother did it she talked to my mother on a three-way this lady telling my mother oh ma'am i'm gonna make sure she get in i'm gonna everything's gonna be good this is what she told my mother y'all but when I leave from there, she told me to, hold on. She also told me that Monday I would be getting um, the email saying, welcome to the residence and all that type of stuff. Y'all, no. Came home Sunday, Monday came. There was no email. Shit started to change once I left there, y'all, is what I'm trying to say. Okay? All the delays. All of the setbacks, all the excuses, all that shit start happening, y'all. So y'all let me know what y'all think, because I know it's some bullshit attached to this. And if this lady is just being spiteful, giving me the apartment, but being spiteful about it, bitch, you need to stop. Okay. So, because if somebody came up there and wrung your neck, that wouldn't be nice. But then again, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play the same way. Call the cops. Get the managers involved. Yeah, that's what, that's how I'm going to play this one. Okay. Call the cops. Let's get the managers involved or, or the owners so that they can know how you did this. Because I'm a blasted and y'all know it. Uh -huh. So, lady, I don't really think you knew me, you know, or knew me through, you know, um, my sister from your kids watching whatever you said. I don't think you did. Because if you did, you would know I'm coming. Okay? Ain't nobody taking shit from me. I told her then. I don't have a dollar to give nobody. Okay? I ain't got that. I'm trying to move. Trying to find me an apartment and, and move on and do some different shit. That's what I'm trying to do. If you can help me, do that. If not, fuck you. I'm going to move around. See? Because I'm going to always have options. And I do, guys. I have been looking at other places. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is get in contact with these places. You know? Set up an appointment with about at least three of these places on the same day. Because next week, like I'm going to say like maybe Tuesday. It takes not 13 hours, but 21 hours to drive um, to Florida. So guys, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to just probably just stay down there. Until I come, until I get a key. An actual key for an apartment. And when I do that. I'm going to drive back here, and I'm going to wait to the 21st of this month. I'm going to get my items and get the truck and go. Now, that's the plan, okay? I feel like, in all fairness, I'm giving this lady um, until, t until tomorrow, y'all, okay? Mind you, 
she said that the person I put down on the application information didn't verify. She screenshot something off her computer, let me know, see, see that it didn't verify and it was an 800 number down there for the person to call to get verified. So guys, this was this, this Monday, I did that. I actually did have this person call. He called with me on the phone, y'all. Found out that his birthday was put down there wrong. Okay? That's why I didn't verify. Got the wrong information down there. Why is it the wrong information? I gave her the right information. Okay? So what happened was the man eventually verified him because he found the problem, the birthday. He verified him, gave me a reference number to call the property management and let them know, here's the reference number. He's verified now. We're good to move forward, okay? I did all that. That was done Monday, okay? Yeah, something is wrong, and clearly, clearly wrong. And it's, it's just sad to me, but I'm so used to this shit, you know, when it comes to females. Now, see, the shit is not gonna change the older you get. I mentioned this before in other videos. It, it don't change. Bitch is gonna hate. That is just what it is. Uh, that's just what it is. Because that's truly what I think all of this is coming down to. Stop playing, girl. You got to stop. Shit or get off the, off the pot. But some people might be out here to play with you. I'm not one of those people. Okay, I'm coming for my shit. Okay, and to put you on blast. You must know that. So, <laughs> y'all, I be hating when I have to do this to people, but I'm gonna, this is gonna be my advice to anybody out there, okay, in this world. Oh, hold on. Hold on, y'all. It's, it's one last important piece that I'm missing to this story, okay? I was supposed to find out because I called her Wednesday and left the message. I didn't talk to her. I called her Wednesday and left the message for her. And I said, listen, I called her office at work. I said, listen, I need dates. You are limiting my options. I need to know what to tell the electric company. I need to know what to tell the movers. They need dates. You cannot keep doing this. She's dragging out time, guys. And this is why I'm, I'm upset like anybody would be. She's wasting time and energy holding up other services is what I'm saying because she on some bullshit. I don't like that. And if she ain't on no bullshit, you're very unprofessional because it don't take this long to verify anybody's shit. You have every fucking thing that you need, lady, to make this process move forward. You're dragging your feet for your own personal problems, your own personal issues with me. Deal with that shit. I have nothing to do with your insecurities, okay? Sad, but that's... That's what it is, guys. So, oh, in all fairness, guys, I'm going to give her because she told me that Thursday, which was yesterday, she said, I'll have all the information for you Thursday, meaning the amount that I need to get for the money orders and stuff to send to her. She said, I will have all the details Thursday. That was yesterday, guys. I didn't hear from her at all yesterday that was the last part i haven't heard from her still today even friday so another another full work day yesterday another full work day today from what it appears like i mean i think it's after 12 or close to 12 o'clock now they're an hour ahead so at five o'clock the work day is over for her so, guys, I think I'm being very fair as far as giving her the time. She said I would know everything Thursday, yesterday. I didn't hear from her. I'm going to give her Friday and Saturday. Sunday, I'm hitting that motherfucking highway. Once I do that, I don't want the motherfucking apartment because I'm coming to get all in your ass in the nice way, though. Okay? But I'm coming is what you need to know. So, I hope you watch this video, girl. I hope you watch it. Come up with some more shit, tricks and lies, whatever the fuck you need to do. Even though I really did give you your props. I gave you your props. Okay. 
told you how much I appreciated you looking out for me, helping me get the apartment. I told you that. I even told you I would hit your hand after I was in there, okay? Girl, you cannot play with everybody because you feel in some type of way, okay? Handle your business, girl. Stick to the business. Don't mix that shit up, okay? I don't want your man, okay? I'm very capable of getting my own, okay? So all I'm saying is get your feelings out of it, honey, and get your professionalism on, even though, I'm gonna be real honest, it's too late for that shit.